We've just completed the El Tour de Tucson, the largest bike race in the US with over 7,500 participants. Yeah, it's also rapid. Now the lead riders have just completed this 102 mile epic in well under four hours. But the question is, how do we get on? Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm wondering whether or not I should put in an attack. I'm just gonna chill on the front, disrupt the chase. See, I'm, I'm domestic and George King happy at the moment. That's how ludicrous this whole thing is. We have come to take part in the 40th edition of El Tour de Tucson, a mass participation race held in Pima County, Arizona. The route is 102 miles, which is 164 kilometers, with an elevation gain of 2,885 feet, which is 880 meters. It is an extremely fast route on big exposed rope with two key climbs, or should I say drags in. The route is typically completed by the front group in under four hours. This could be the fastest 102 miles we have ever ridden. Night before the race, the start, this is great, is right outside the hotel window there. Yeah, zero transfer, is there? <sighs> Fantastic, right, what's the plan for tomorrow, Hank? Plan is very simple. There's a big peloton, so we want to save our legs. So surf the wheels. Key though is you're fitter than I am, so you need to be covering attacks on the climbs and then I'll help on the flat. I'll see if we can deliver you for the sprint. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, if I make it over the mountain. Look, <laughs> the, the primary goal is to complete 100 miles in under four hours. Yeah, that's about 25 miles an hour, 40K an hour average. Yeah, it's quick, isn't it? So I think fueling's gonna be absolute key. Thought that. Got some beta fuel. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. Have you got a few of them? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, hydration be because we are in the desert. Got all that. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Should be good. Right, I mean, the only thing that remains, um, are we topping and tailing or um, should we just snuggle? Big spoon, little spoon? Yeah, let's just do big spoon, little spoon. It's just before 7 a.m. and the L Tour is about to kick off. This thing's massive, there's like 7,000 people behind us. It's literally insane. It's like a festival of bike racing. You've got music and you've got literally thousands of riders that go as far as the eye can see. And we're at the peaky point. We're right at the end of it and it's yeah. super exciting. Somehow we've managed to end up in the pro start right at the front. Quinn Simmons is over there, Colby Simmons. There's some hitters, let's just say that. And Ollie's not one of them. People digging it. So we're off. The start of Tour de Tucson. 100 miles, 160K and riders as far as you can see. Ollie is going to be smashing it. It's neutralised this first bit though, Hank. Here we are. The front. Last time I'll touch it. Like any race, as soon as the neutral flag was dropped, attacks started, with riders attempting to break away from the large and fast peloton. The race mentality in me and the excitement and adrenaline was taking over, and I just couldn't resist but to get involved in all the action. Off the front, covering attacks. Let's go. And just like that, I found myself in a four-man breakaway ahead of the biggest peloton I have ever seen. The question is, can we stay away? So, 17K in. 
We're sitting at 45k an hour. Sean's drilling it. But we want to try and sit at a pace we can maintain once we've got a solid gap. So this is always the hard bit. It's securing the gap. But everyone's putting their weight and giving it their all. Hank has managed to get in a breakaway with Sean and he's two minutes up the road on this, the main bunch. So I'm just going to chill on the front, let Hank get up the road. Disrupt the chase. We're coming up to one of the big features where it all kicks off. Pistol Hill. Pace still 41k an hour, 35k done. And at the moment it's about conserving. We've got a good gap, and now we've just got to keep everyone together. Pace is starting to up. Hank, he's got like four and a half minutes of the road and I've been disrupting the chase. People are getting annoyed that I'm not working with them, but that's exactly what I'm doing. Hey, my friend, keep me out of the way. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm domestic and George Hink happy at the moment. That's how ludicrous this whole thing is. kilometers in looks like we've got a five minute gap over the hardest bit or one of and now I've just got to try and hold my own now keep eating and drinking as we hit the second climb the effort out front was starting to show and our speed was starting to drop we've eaten into Hank's lead a bit, they're only three minutes ahead now. Just uh, used Christian Vanderveld to drag me up and get me further up the bunch. Never thought I'd ever say that in my life. These guys are ripping proper ruler style. So we're now 90k in, average speed, 42 and a half k an hour. Hank's been out there, pretty much all of that. What a phenomenal performance he's doing. I don't know how he's doing it. Whew. Impressive stuff. Classes, classes permanent form is temporary. And just like that, the peloton had us in their sights. Oh, yeah, 120k. And I'm gone. Hey, you all right for food, mate? Yeah. With 40 kilometers to go, our breakaway hopes had ended and we were swept up with what was left of the lead pack. After spending 120k in the breakaway with just four of us, after the first climb or the second climb, we're now in the front group, sitting at 55k an hour. Man, this is quick, but I've got a teammate now. Ollie's going to give me a lead out. I just don't know if I've got it in my legs. Ten k from the finish. Very spicy. Doing forty-eight kilometers an hour at the moment. Woo. I'm wondering whether or not I should put in an attack. Nothing 
Super Legs. Fast now. 5K to go. The front group shot through Tucson at rapid pace and the sprinter for the line and Tucson stardom was just moments away. And just like that, it was over. The question is though, what was our time? Did we manage to break the four hour barrier? I finished inside the top 20 alongside George Hincapi. Not something I ever thought I'd say. Ollie also finished with the front bunch, a few places ahead of Matthew Riccatello and Christian Vandervelde. What a surreal day. Mate, done it. Well done, brother. That was that was insane. We've never done anything like that, really, because I mean, you were incredible. First, first of all, just for Hank's effort in the breakaway, that was amazing. Where did that come from? Well, you know what we said before. I'll cover the attacks on the flat. You cover the attacks of the climb, and the attack went on the flat. So I found myself in the wind for 120k, 50, 45, 50k an hour. I loved it. It was good fun, eh? Yeah. I could tell you were loving it. It was so good to like get back in the bunch and especially having some World Tour riders to ride with it's it and going insane. flat like, out. I mean, during that thing, there was stuff like, you know, you're riding along in the bunch with like Bobby Hewlett, yeah. Hincapie, Vandervelde, and then current pros as well. You yeah. know, Quinn Simmons is here and, you know, uh, Matthew Riccatello. It's nuts. Like, never in my life did I think I was going to use Christian Vandervelde's wheel to get me up to the front of the yeah. bunch. And let's just say I have. Let's just focus on what we did achieve and that is a hundred miles and we did it I mean I, on well, my club I've got 341 three yeah that's nuts right three hours and 41 minutes to do 100 miles now that is something yeah you gotta give a thumbs up for nearly 44k an hour average yeah you can come and do this too yeah All right. massive thank you to visit Tucson for having us out oh. here El Tor for letting us join in and getting us to the front of the group and a big thank you to the whole community here who's uh, really looked after us over the last couple of weeks. experience. Uh, let's go get some burritos, I think. Burritos, oh, and I'm just going to finish the like so far. A sweat is coming in my eyes now. Thank you. Uh, 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 that's on the conversation, uh, what you call. Uh, uh, yeah.